Hey guys, Phil here, hope you're all well. What you're looking at in front of you is my Toxic Green PlayStation. As you can see, it's got an X station in there. Um, and also next to it is my OSSC open source scan converter. Now I'm not going to be modding the PlayStation today. What I'm going to be doing is modding my OSSC. So if you stick around, I'll crack on with that. So what I want to do now is just talk a little bit about the mod I'm going to be carrying out. Um, if we take a look at this, I'll turn it over and you can look at the version, what version this one is. If you take a look here, model number is it OSSC version 1.6 and the latest version out there is 1.8 um, so if you've got one of those you don't have to do this mod also if you take a look this firmware is pretty old now it's 0.90a I think it's 1.6 uh, at the moment which is the firmware I may be wrong about that I'll, if I'm wrong I'll put an annotation in the bottom um, but the problem with this is because the firmware has been updated um, it's been there's been some more features added um, but them features won't work on this unless you carry out a mod um, and what that mod is basically is you remove a resistor here and you solder a wire from one of the pads where the resistor was uh, to the ASIC uh, that's in there and that will enable uh, some of the functions um, so yeah if you stick around I'll carry out that mod on this First thing I need to do, obviously, is strip this down. Um, now, it can be a little bit tricky to strip this down, um, so I'm going to show you how to do it. What you want to do is you want to take your finger and hold your finger against this pillar just here, and that will allow you to undo the top screws. Now, the best thing to do is don't unscrew the screw completely leave it a little bit like that because then you retain the actual pillar so I'm going to come along and do this one again I'm going to take my thumb this time do the same thing I just want to get it so it's loose and there you go you can see that part's come undone I'm going to hold this part again that's great just want to get to the point where take the top bit off and there we go and that's the top off um, and there you go you can see there those are retained now I'm just going to screw that back on there because it's come off a little bit but yeah that's that one top bit come off now what I need to do is I need to re uh, remove the nut on the power switch so I'm just going to grab my on those tweezers and I'm just going to turn it and I should be able to take that nut off now there we go it should come off and you can take that off now we don't have to remove the actual bottom plate but what I am going to do is I'm just going to remove this little pillar here the reason for that is because the LED uh, sorry the resistor that I'm going to be removing is right next to it so I just want to give myself uh, some extra room but yeah there we go that's that stripped down also guys just a quick tip be very careful of this here because if you knock this you're going to break off the LCD display And as you can see, we're all stripped down. Um, now the point I'm going to be soldering a wire to is this very last leg here on this ASIC. And obviously I'm going to be removing uh, this right resistor just here and soldering a wire to the pad. Now to do that, I'm going to be using some 30 AWG wire and I'm also going to be hooking up my 
microscope because there's no way I'm going to be able to solder to that point by eye. So I'm going to get that set up and then I'll come back. As you can see, I've set up my microscope. Let's get modding this OSSC.
and that's the mod all carried out as you can see it's just a wire from this very last pin on this basic and it goes all the way to the front here where this second resistor was removed and it's the bottom pad very easy mod to do um, especially if you've got a, a microscope that really does help you out now what I'm going to do now is put this all back together I'm not going to film that you've already seen me taking apart it's just a reverse then I'm going to test it and then what I need to do is update the firmware so moment of truth have we damaged the OSSC uh, by doing that mod let's power on well we got power on so that's a good sign and we're getting an image on screen and let's press the AV button and there we go we've got our picture so yeah we've not um, damaged it by doing that mod um, but what I need to do now uh, is update the firmware on this thing as you can see if I turn it off and on you can see it's a, a fairly old firmware firmware 0.90a so that needs updating so those new options get enabled and this thing functions great so what I've done is I've got a micro SD card I've copied the latest firmware to it uh, time to update the firmware please don't brick <laughs> So I'm going to go to menu, settings, and down to firmware update. And you can see the latest firmware is 1.09. It's asked me do I want to update. It's telling me to press 1 for yes. I'm going to press 1. And we've got updating firmware. Please wait. Firmware updated. Please restart. So let's power off. Power on. Yes, we've got the latest firmware. And we're back up and running. So if now I switch over to the first AV, and there we go. We're back, baby. <laughs> so that was a successful mod and firmware update phew <laughs> and what I'll do is I'll show you uh, a couple of the features that have been added in this firmware update and it's the reason why you have to do the mod as well so those uh, functions work so if I go into the menu look up here and I go to out you can see we've got line 5x but if I go up one we now have a line 6x so you can see it there line 6x and that's 1440p now this TV is a 1080p uh, TV and you can see it's not supported um, 1440p so I'll go back down to line 5x and you can see we get our image back and also another feature that's been added is we move down we can see here the HDR flag um, that will allow you when you're capturing video uh, from this thing if you use, use something like an Elgato um, if you just capturing normal standard video um, the bitrate will be I think on mine mine's a 4k pro 60 it is 90 megabytes a second but if you turn on the HDR flag um, it tricks the Elgato into thinking it's HDR and it allows you to bump up the bitrate uh, to 140 meg a second so yeah there you go guys that's uh, it's a great little option there that HDR flag that's the reason why um, I updated this thing um, wasn't really bothered about the 6x but it's nice to have but yeah there you go guys hope you liked the video if you did please give it a big thumbs up like comment subscribe all the usual stuff and as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Winner, winner. I updated the firmware, I didn't brick it. <laughs>
Catch you next time, guys.